Hey guys, this time we're going to cover some combat logs and how they can help you a little bit. But uh, first we need to figure out how to capture them and where to put them. So what we're looking at here is my add-on list and there's all kinds of add-ons available to automatically capture your combat log and you don't even need an add-on to do it. You can actually just type slash combat log I believe and it'll start recording. The problem is in the rush to get into the raid and everything else you might forget so what I do is I use a little add-on called auto combat log and as you can see from the tooltip automatically enables combat logging when the player is in a raid All right. so the nice thing about this is it automatically turns it on when you go in it automatically turns it off when you leave or when you die yeah so there's no logging when you're uh, dead and flying back so that's how you capture the logs so now we know that we're going to capture them where did they go uh, basically they end up in your world of warcraft installation directory inside the logs folder and that's what it's called right there the wow combat log uh, this can grow huge if you don't do something with it and uh, as you can see mine's 82 megs it looks like or 82, yeah, 82 meg, so um, it hasn't been emptied in a while, but you'll see what it looks like here in a second. So once we know we've got that, what are we going to do with it? Basically, what you want to do is go to some place like World of Logs. This is a great place, great tool to uh, parse those combat logs out. Uh, if you just visit here, you can, you know, I tell you, I always upload the logs and stuff. You can go to US English, you know, you find the Galakron, and you come down and you find us. And I'll just give you a calendar of all of our recent logs that I've uploaded. We are using the free version, so it only keeps it for a couple months. You can't go back forever, but there that is. Now, yay, we got pictures of our logs. Wonderful. All right. Basically, what that does is uh, we've got some kills. You can, you can come in here and it shows a report of your DPS throughout the entire evening, the heals. Uh, you can see different things. Okay. Uh, all the dispels. Looks like it absent did most of the dispelling that night. Interrupt duty. Meta, Steel, and Marduk. Well, Marduk barely had any. But, uh, Echo had a Spell Steel. Uh, the dashboard, you can analyze the damage. And it'll give you, for the entire night, you know, the top DPS. And when you hover over it, it gives you a tooltip of how that DPS broke down. Alright. If you want to dig in further, so we're already looking at the damage done. We want to look for a specific boss. Halphus has that big debuff that you get, so you do insane amount of DPS. So let's not bother looking at him. Let's look at uh, the Valiona and Therelian fights. You see here it says try one. That's because we failed. Here's the actual kill. So we'll narrow it down to just the kill. Gall took top DPS honors on that one. A blur eight was his top DPS ability at 20.6%. You, know, you can start seeing a lot of that stuff in there. Okay. And here you can narrow it down if you just want to look at one person. Okay, so Galt was the top DPS. Let's see what we got. Now, here's his DPS throughout that fight and you can see the different lines for the different things that are happening but what you can do is you can actually look at the buffs now he's a frost DK so how many times did he get a killing machine proc those are his killing machine procs all those green lines right there right. Um, how many times did he get an unholy strength and how did it line up you know, so he he had a couple drops in in, in his unholy strength ability. 
uh, how many times did he use in a magic shell? You know, did that correspond with some, you know, damage output, maybe some uh, total raid DPS output, some incoming damage, you know, that kind of stuff. But that's how you can start lining up some of these buffs gained. You know, that's how I use it on as, as a tank to make sure that it, I'm making sure I keep up all my buffs like Blade Barrier and all that other good stuff. Um, so that's how you do that. So how do you actually upload a log once you've captured it? Because all we've done is you know, shown what the end result is. Basically you have to be a member. You have to apply to the guild. We have the Shadow Templars guild set up on the site. You just apply and you can get promoted and stuff like that. But So you have to be at least a member on this website to upload. And you can get this client. It's just a little Java client. It starts up and allows you to upload the logs. And you tell it where to go with the preferences, your account settings, where the log is. You hit that middle button there to open it. It loads it all up. And you get something like this. Now, you notice it's red because it says it's too long. Remember I said it was 82 megs? Yeah, it's too, too damn long. All these little spikes here are damage output. It's combat. See, so there's a, you know, a raid or a five man or something like that. There's something else happened. There's something else. You know, but basically, if you end up forgetting or doing something and it takes too long, you can come in here and just upload a subsection just by click, hold, drag, and then hit upload. All right. Let's go down here to this last one, just to slide it a little bit. We hit upload. And there it goes, it creates it. There's an Akita run, that's what that was for. Who was in here? Lorelian. So that's how that works. Who's taking the most damage is what we're looking at right now. Analyze the healing done. Aurelian did all the healing with greater heal, prayer of healing, and divine ages being the top three abilities. Blah, blah, blah. You can start seeing how that works out. So, and once you're done with that, do you want to split and archive the file? Yes, you always want to do that because it'll split it and archive it in a folder right next to your logs called archives, and then it'll do this. It'll delete it for you. Go ahead and delete it. Auto combat log and WoW will automatically create a new one the next time you go into a raid. That's it. Have a good one, guys.